Hi folks, it's Mr. Weston here. I must admit, I'm getting myself organised at the moment because I am about to go out to Melbourne for Monster Hunter Thursday, which admittedly is of course last time I checked on the Pokemon Thursday as well since the introduction of it. But having said that, it does remind me of what happened last Saturday, which was Hall Allo's Hall Allo's Eve. I think that's how it was. First one up to Melbourne, I'll put the shirt on and show you off. Right, there we go. Okay. Right, Hall Allo's Eve. Um did it actually come up in America, I believe. A few did it start this year? Last year? Well, it started when Milton Three Ultimate comes out came out. And I did manage to grab something. Where did I put it? Well, I can't find it, but I did... Oh, wait, here it is. <laughs> did manage to pick up this. It's a little Monster Hunter 3... Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Guide for all the monsters that are in the game. It's a pretty extensive list. I did arrive a bit late, because that was pretty much the only thing I could grab. Because it was pretty big, actually. But what else did I manage to pick up during the week? Ah! I picked up my guide. Not only for... Ow! That is sharp. For... Oh. Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 HD. This is it right here. Pretty thick, actually. I'm glad I picked this up. Because I actually never played um, Kingdom Hearts, well, the trilogy, the trilo original trilogy at least, which is, got, which the third one's going to be out on PS4, but last one takes to still a trilogy. And, of course, my Pokemon XY guide as well. I will actually keep this on me, especially when I'm playing it up in Melbourne. So, what else happened during the week? Well, I think, I, I believe, um, Assassin's Creed 4 came out uh, a couple of days early. See, it actually came out on Tuesday. It's now Thursday, the 31st of October. Uh, for those who know, it's Halloween now. Yeah, we're still kind of celebrating it in Australia, I must admit. Uh, considering it actually is an English count holiday, from what I remember. So it actually originated in the UK, our background's English, so that means it's an Australian holiday. There you go. Ah, this is what I get for trying to get organised so quickly and need a little bit of weight. Okay. Right, so that's happening at the moment. I'm not going to be home to actually show off uh, any, any kids that are coming by as a lolly, see where their costumes. Try and scare a few, actually. Why not? It is that time of the year. So, what else did I pick up during the week? I did manage to get a few uh, Blu-rays, actually, to add to my collection. Ta-da! Yes, I'm a slightly big Adventure Time fan. You get seasons one and two. One. One. Two. There we go. And the final edition of Persona 4, the A animation. Now, it has been out in Japan for quite some time, actually, but um, we only did get the, the Blu-ray of it coming out. In fact, I actually got the, um, the Japanese... Um, the Japanese uh, dubbed one, with English subs, of course. And I think that one's a... Well, well, we'll see what the last few episodes are like. Um, I don't mind the English actors, but truth be told, the Japanese is a little bit better. I just think we need better English actors. I'm just opening this up at the moment. I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Um, yeah, if you are in Melbourne, of course, I got these from Minotaur. Uh, Minotaur.com.au. There's your, there's your plug for, for you, Minotaur. Give me money. So, that's where I got these from. Also, of course, from, of course, this, this Blu-ray as well. So, what else has been happening? Oh, yeah, I actually uh, started playing Saints, oh, not Saints Row 4, I actually just finished Saints Row 4. GTA 5 is actually what I just started playing. And it's, it's actually something I would like to talk about, actually. The, a lot of people talk about the differences between the two. And truth be told, I actually don't mind them, but... One thing I... I think my gameplay style is a bit different to um, both games, actually. I think Saints Row 4, because I know it isn't real, is actually... The, for those who don't know, the game is actually based... Um, the majority of it is actually based in a simulator, which means you can pretty much do whatever you like and no one gets affected. So that is pretty much my standpoint for it. Um, my gameplay style on GTA 5, however, does differently actually because it actually is based on the real world. I find myself actually being more careful when I come to playing that game for some reason. Um, I'm not sure why. 
I'm not doing much mayhem sort of stuff, only because I did, did just begin. I'm only, I only got unlocked uh, Franklin, and Tr not Trevor, no, what's the other one? Michael, Michael the other, is the other one. Um, I only just started playing Michael just yesterday, actually. And ma mainly Franklin, because he, he actually technically started the game as him, but the main bulk of it, the first parts, of course, Michael and Trevor. So, that's pretty much my standpoint from it. Uh, speaking of Assassin's Creed 4, I actually did get myself a copy of it, as well as a collector's guide and art book, actually. I will show those off on Saturday, because, for those who don't know, I can't actually take those home on the facility I've got, actually. I've got myself a Honda Integra 2013 model. This is 700cc Moro Scooter. Um, there's a slight little key to prove it. It is a Honda. There you go. Um, so, for those who don't know, the boot on that thing is not that big. Uh, the the top box I've got also would probably be a bit too heavy for it. So that's why I haven't really um, got it on me. That, and I probably don't really want to go off the impression that I actually bought my game already. So, there you go. Um, so I'll put that up. I'll put an unboxing of it on Saturday, and I'll probably try to do a little bit of gameplay stuff with it as well. I think my last game got play video was Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Um, those who don't know it, it starred. Let me grab it for you. Without interrupting Mario or Connor. And I have interrupted some stuff. This guy, Raiden. Oh, wait. Bit more focus. Raiden, don't drop the book. So yeah, not exactly in this sort of armor, but it does did start this guy. So it has been a while since I last did a little gameplay video, if one at all. Um, so there you go. I think it's. I think I probably should try and do more gameplay videos. I didn't want to do more gameplay sort of stuff, but I don't really have the time and effort to actually pick up the um, stuff to actually do this. So I either um, what is it? The software for video frapping and all that sort of stuff. I don't even know how that even works. Can someone post me an explanation of it online? That would be good. Alright. Um, now, I did this last week. I'll do it again this week, which I believe is gratuitous supply time for a cosplayer as well. Now, I believe this one at the moment is Crazy Cat Cosplay. They've been, a, been in the business for a little while. They did start off their thing last year, 135 likes, which is pretty good. I did promote Spooky Luca last week, he deserved a plug, but the reason why I'm plugging Crazy Cat Cosplay at the moment is because they've got a little contest at the moment. Um, a while ago they did um, try to give away a Bioshock Infinite Steelbook with, to no avail. So, so this time around they're giving away another, they're giving away one, again, because the other person didn't claim it. So all you gotta do is go to their page, like, like like the page and share the picture that's on there. It, the picture is from October 29th, actually. So a couple of days ago, I, I myself have done it. So a few other people have done it. Um, yeah. So there you go. A couple of people have already done it. So there's at least three people to try and win it. I don't want it out of three people. I mean, give these guys some love. As much as I would love to win a um, a still book, they need, they need all the opportunities they. Everyone else needs an opportunity to win it as well. So there you go. Unless you actually haven't got the game. Alright, so that's my Katrina's plug for the day. Now, let me see. What else should I be talking about? Oh, yeah. um, uh, Bravery Default. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's actually been announced to come out in December 7th in Australia at the moment. So it's a Saturday. Uh, one stage, I did have a collector's edition for it come out. And <laughs> guess what? They're all gone. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much sold out. So I got one from the EB Games website. I don't know if you can actually get it anywhere else. I'll double check as well, but something tells me uh, that's not the case because it is a pretty nice collector's edition. And having said that, um, it is probably going to be the most amount of money I've ever spent in a um, uh, Nintendo 3DS game, actually. So, so there you go. Um, so, so there you are. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going to be getting. I'm definitely going to be doing an unboxing of that. Look it up online. It actually shows a few nice little things in there. So, here we go. I'll bring up this one. Which is actually what we're going to get. 
So uh, the box in the collector's edition includes a very nice, well, of course, the 3DS game, of course, the Agus Agnes figure. I think that's how you pronounce it. Deluxe art book. Uh, we did get one for Fire Emblem, I believe, but that wasn't really that nice to be told. Sorry, guys. It is. Um, very nice cover there, stuff there. Some AR, some augmented reality cards as well, which I'm sure we'll be using in the game. And a lovely soundtrack as well. That'll be more than, I'll be more than happy to put that on my iPod. I do need more music, I immediately. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'll try to rain down for about 10 minutes, but this is pretty much just me going on and on. This is an improv vlog. I'm not running off a script or anything. I just refuse to. One, I'm lazy. Two, it just feels right to post videos that are pretty much from the heart or something on those lines. Okay, so I'll try to end it here. I'm going to be off in a few minutes. I'll try a bit of fit of Star Ocean in. I did actually get the game, luckily. So I'll play a bit of that, and I'll catch you guys next Tuesday, because next Tuesday is Melbourne Cup Day, which means I've got a day off. So, yeah, I'll be doing a vlog then, maybe a bit more progress, tell you about uh, what's been happening recently, my thoughts on Assassin's Creed 4, something like that. Okay, so I'll end it in a few minutes. Mr. Weston signing off. Bye!